Hey, it's your little cute nurse. What's going on? How you doing? How you been? How your cousin and them doing? And how they been? <laughs> hey, y'all. <laughs> I got a quick wig review. I come in here. I got to share this with y'all because I kept seeing the reviews on this unit. They are over YouTube. If you have not heard or seen the what late selection, I mean collection from Sensational, y'all, they're everywhere. And not all good. So I just had to get this unit to see for myself and see, you know, how it was going to work for me. <sighs> and let me tell you, she need a little work. She, she needs some work. She's not going to be one of the ones you can just put on and get going. You're going to have to uh, be ready to, to put it in. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, yeah. But other than that, she is absolutely beautiful. But yeah, here's a stock card. This is what she looks like. Yeah, that's how she looks. And I got mine in the color 1B. So again, this is Sensational What Lace Unit Audrey in a 1B. She's curling iron safe up to, what did I say? From 350 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So yeah, if you don't mind putting in a little work for a unit that's going to look really natural and really like your own, you're going to love this unit. But honestly, she ain't coming straight out of no box for you. You're going to have to work with her. So anyway, if y'all want to see the reviews, the specs, the ins and outs of Miss Audrey, just keep on watching. It'll be coming up next. Bye, guys. Okay, guys. This is what the unit looks like in the box. And I think she is really cute. I'm glad I went with a 1B. So, yeah. Let's bust this girl open and see what she looks like. This is Wet Lace Audrey, and I'm number one. She's curling out safe, 350 to 400 degrees. I almost didn't get this because I did, have seen a few reviews on her. She is really pretty, but the issues apparently have been with the lace. So I was, I was, I was on the fence because you know she got a little, you know price tag on her so I didn't want to get something that I couldn't wear and I can see what they mean. You see that color that lace and then against my skin. We don't know. We're gonna play with her and see. She has a lot of lace. That apparently is what allowing the parts where you can part her pretty much anywhere. She has a comb in the back. Two combs in the front. And a pretty good amount of lace. I like the, the feel of this hair. I like the way it looks. I'm just really weary about the lace color. So I'm going to go ahead and um, get the lace cut off. I don't think, you know, I slicked my hair back really nice. Uh, gelled it so I could try to get away with no cap. Um, so at least I didn't have to worry about the cap coming through. I think what I'm going to do, since I can already tell, well, you know what, let's just put her on. Let's just put her on. And see, I got a little ponytail back there. You know, a little LPT. Put her on and see what she looks like with the lace before I do anything to her. Just to see, y'all. Just to see. Oh yeah, I'm going to have to definitely do something with this lace. That is pretty. She is pretty. You can see it all throughout. It's like a grayish tone. That's why I was on the fence. But you know, I've been lazy lately for a long time. I'm getting units that I have to do nothing with but just pop on my head. So I'm going to have to work with her. We're gonna work with her. Yeah, it looks kind of yellowish, or I'm not sure it's not. But this hair, though, man, this hair. She is really pretty, really natural. That lace is just—it's gonna have to go. 
So let me go get a mannequin head. I'm going to cut the lace off and put on a mannequin head. And I'm going to get the Sally Hansen. I got some in the room and spray it and some powder and see if I can manipulate it to get this lace to look a little bit better. Okay, guys, I'll be back in a few seconds. Okay, guys, I got the lace cut off and I got her on my mannequin head. And let me just show you guys what this lace looks like. That's what it looks like. And on the back of my hand, it's just real, I don't know, gray. It just sits there. That's no good. And you know that that's just not going to work. So I'm going to try to fix it with this. What I have, the uh, Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs. I got Deep Glow. I'm hoping that this is dark enough to fix it. Because uh, that's, that's just not going to work. So let's spray her up and see what we get. I'm just going to spray it directly on the lace. Something just definitely has to change that color because that, that's just not going to work. It's just not going to work. I mean, you, I don't even think, I don't, I don't know who, if anybody's skin tone, that that would match. I'm going to see, let me, I should have did this little test first and tested it on the lace to see if that color would do any good. Oh yeah, that's better. That's a lot better. It's not perfect, but it's a lot better. I think I'm going to go in on top of that and put some, you know what, I think I'm just going to let this sit here for a little bit, y'all. Because it's real wet. I want to let this dry. Yeah, it's wet. I need to let this dry. I really want to put some powder or this to just dust some powder. I think I am. I think I'm going to go ahead and just dust some powder on top of that. I'm just using my uh, Too Faced Born This Way powder in deep. I'm just putting it all over the, uh, the lace because I don't know where they got this lace color from or was it even taken into consideration, but that won't work. And hopefully I haven't gotten it too dark. You know what? I can't wait for it to dry. I need to see how she looks right now. Turn it over. It looks a little better. Let's put her on and see, guys. Let's just... <sighs> Now, we've gotten so used to these units that we can just put on and go. When you get the ones you have to do work with, you just don't even want to do it. Oh, yeah, that's better. That's a whole lot better. Ah, uh, yeah. I was I was second-guessing that, saying, like, ah, oh, no. Nah. That's a lot better. it about right like that. Maybe a little tangling I got going on over here. Just a little bit. No shedding yet though. But a little tangling. That's a really natural hairline. You still can see that lace. You see it? Let me see. Let me try some of this stay powder. It's a lot better than it was, but um, yeah, I still can see it. So I'm going to try putting some, get a brush. I'm going to try some of this Stay Matte Powder around the edges and see if that'll help. Put 
bit up some. Oh yeah, that helped a lot. It pretty much just disappeared. So you definitely gonna need a darker powder. Not your skin tone, but one a little bit darker. Yeah, it helped a lot. A whole lot. Because you can't even see that lace anymore. And you don't have to, um, you don't, I think the time is five. You don't have to adhere her down. She fits just perfect. And the lace lays just right without her adhered down. I think I'm going to take her off again and put a little bit more of that dark powder right around the edges. She fixable. She is fixable. But you guys honestly see, she going to need some work. You're going to have to work with her. She ain't coming out the box going on your head and out the door nowhere. It ain't going to happen. She need a little bit of love. Pulling down to where my foundation meets the root. I'm just playing with her here a little bit. I think I like this side part right here. It looks real natural. Real natural. Instead of straight back. Yeah, the hairline is fixable. You guys can see. It's fixable. But it's just a hassle. Because, like I said, we've gotten so used to not having to uh, fix wigs that we can just, you know, so many good ones out here nowadays that you don't have to do all that too. But that lace was just out of there, y'all. Let me let you see the back. Yeah, you still can see it right there. Right there. Looks like you're going to have to work with it. Put some baby hairs on there. Let me put some of this care care and lay it down. So like I said, I'm not gonna lace it down. I just wanted to tame it a little bit. Yeah, she's gonna take some work. Oh, I'm gonna show you the back. Let me show you the back. That's what it looks like. Feels good, yeah. It feels really good. Just be prepared to uh, work with that lace. I don't know where they got that. That's just an odd color that they chose for that lace. I don't know guys. I don't I think uh they just really mess, missed it on this beat. They just really missed it. If I had to put on this beat, on this unit, if I put some uh baby hairs in there, I think it'll help a lot. But when I do this, y'all see that? You can see that lace. I hold my head up, but when you're looking at me straight on, so when you hold your head up, is the definition of somebody in your head like this trying to figure out is it your hair? But straight on, I mean, it's thin enough, it's, it's, it's perfectly thin enough, but you don't definitely need to. I don't want to lace this down today, but if you put your hmm. You got to be glued spray right along the edges and just lay some hair down right there. I think that'll look good. So for right now, this is just how I'm going to be rocking her. 
Yeah. Okay, y'all. This is uh, this is it. I'm gonna go put on me some clothes and uh, get out of here. Yeah, that's just that's not good. I can't leave it alone because that lace is just. I wanna lace her down and see what it does, but she just not. I really want to lace her down. I, I really do. You know what? I'm gonna spray them. Let's see. I'll take a little bit of this stuff and slick them baby hairs. Don't really make any baby hairs. I'm just going to slick the little, you know, the little front right there on top of that, uh, that lace. Yeah, that's better. That's a lot better. I knew it would. I knew it would. I knew that would make it look so much better, guys. Yeah. Now that's what I'm talking about. It just took a little work. It just took a little work. You know, we don't want to work with wigs no more, y'all. We didn't got what we want to put them on, slap a little gel, and go. If you got to work with them, you ain't got time. And you know, for the amount of this synthetic wig, you shouldn't have to. But what the hell? You know, once you spend your money on them like I did, you're going to make it work some kind of how. And that works. Okay, y'all. That is it. That is the end of the video. I got to get up and get ready for what to do another video, guys. All right. I'll talk to you later. And see you in the next video, guys. Stay blessed. Bye. Guys, I had to step back in. I had to come back in on this video because I walked around, played with this unit for a minute, and... Don't buy it. I, I will not. I'm not going to tell you what to do with your money. But I advise you not to try to shoot it. Because it's going to be a waste of your money. I realize. I can see it. It looks wonderful on camera. But once you get up in there, it looks like you got a net across your head. I mean, it just looks like you got a piece of material. On camera, it looks good. But that's on camera. I've been playing with it for a minute. I even you see the center part I did? That center part looks really awesome, don't it? it? Looks good on camera, don't it? Like it's coming out of my scalp. But if you get closer, it looks like you got a piece of fabric laying on top of your head with hair coming out of it. And if I hold my head up, out of everything I put on that lace, you still can see that lace. Um it's just me being really honest with you guys. I mean, if you don't mind a little fakeness going on or you don't want it to perfectly look like your hair, go, go ahead and get it. But other than that, only place I'll probably wear this is in YouTube videos because you really can't see it on camera. On camera, the camera makes it look so good. But in person, y'all, it's a hell no. Nah. Lord forgive me. It's just no. No, I'm a little pissed that I waste my fifty dollars on this because it's just not. It's... Breathe in, breathe out. The chicken head, let it all hang out. Breathe in, okay, but for real, <laughs> no, please, y'all. Mm -mm. I mean, you see that right there? Everything I put on there is just sitting there like a piece of fabric. I wish I'm gonna try to zoom in when I edit this video, but uh. My honest to goodness, my heart wouldn't let me not come back because y'all going to be like I was. Oh, I can fix that. I'm going to work with it. No, y'all. That lace just, it just messes this wig. It just, it's just, just mess it. It just, it's not good. It's not good. Look right there. Look right there. And y'all saw all this stuff I put on this lace. I mean, it's just, it only looks good on camera. And if y'all like me, you probably been watching a lot of videos saying, ooh, child. Oh, yeah, but I'm telling you right now, don't do it. Okay? All right. Now I'm gone. Bye, y'all.